Welcome to the CA Compliance Event Manager version 6.0 video on viewing security events in the Splunk CA CEM app. With the proper policy in place in CA Compliance Event Manager, you can automatically feed security event data into Splunk, a popular tool for event collection, analysis, and visualization. Using our Splunk CA CEM app, you can gain additional insights into your security events through out-of-the-box dashboards and enrichments. Doing so provides an easy way to identify potential security exposures, suspicious activity, or abnormalities in system and data access, letting you quickly recognize threats and remediate them. Before you begin, please be sure that you've provided your Splunk configuration information and defined the appropriate policy in CA Compliance Event Manager to send the applicable security event data to Splunk. Also be sure that your Splunk instance and the CACEM app are up and running. In this demo, we'll view an out-of-the-box dashboard using the app to look for potential security exposures. We'll locate an abnormality and drill into its details to learn more. Then we'll save the details in a report and review the report to determine whether further potential violations exist. For example, say our Security Operations Center is using the Splunk CACEM app to focus on proactive threat detection and prevention. The team regularly reviews the CACEM dashboards to look for abnormalities in system and data access events. We're concerned with recent login attempts that are outside our company approved access points, so we select the System Access Events Overall Summary Dashboard. We want to look for abnormalities in sign-on activity in the last week, so we limit the time range to week to date. We review the dashboard looking for anything out of the ordinary. We notice that a sign-on violation occurred from an access point of Mexico. Our company has no operations in Mexico, so this event seems suspicious. We drill into this event to investigate further. As we investigate the event, we see from the program field that the sign-on violation occurred during an attempt to FTP data. We see from the user ID field that the user is jsmith06. In addition, out-of-the-box enrichments provide deeper insight. For example, the source field correlates to an IP address. Enrichment then converts the IP address to a geographic location using DNS lookup. In this case, the country is Mexico. We conclude that this event is a potential security threat which requires further investigation and possible remediation. We decide to save the report so that we can email the data to our security administrator for review. We give our report a meaningful title and a description. As we review our report, we set the report time frame to the last month so that we can determine whether any further sign-on violations occurred from this access point. We see that the same user has attempted to FTP data from a location in Mexico in the past. We want to send all occurrences of this activity to our security administrator for review, so we export this report. We select a format of PDF and export. Our PDF is now available to send to our security administrator, who can then take steps to remediate the situation if needed. For more detailed information about the Splunk CACEM app, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to the product documentation, visit the CA communities, or see the learning paths. Thank you for watching this CA Compliance Event Manager 6.0 demo video on viewing security events in the Splunk CACEM app.